first day out. They excited that we back. I'm excited that we back. Let's put on the show today, bro. That's why you come out here. That's why you grind in the offseason for this. It's the fun part. Ain't no reason to be scared now. That's the fun part. Chad, what's good with you, boy? Let's work, man. Yes, <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. First drive always hurt. Bro. I'm like, bro. am I in shape? Yeah. <laughs> am I in shape, bro? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Went to the gun. Play action gives it. A quick toss to work. Samuel dives into the end zone. Touchdown! Hey, hey! Jags bring four. Went steps up, taking a shot down the field. Has McLaurin caught it again and in. Touchdown! Come on, man! Come on, man! Come on, bro! You been lazy all day, all day. Snap to Wentz on a third and eight. Jacksonville brings six. He throws a fade towards Dotson, who fights for it and makes a catch. Unbelievable catch by Dotson! Touchdown! Well, there's some pieces for Washington. We'll stick in the NFC East. Commanders hit the field today. Their new offensive coordinator, Eric Bieniemy, trying to put together the perfect offensive playbook for second-year quarterback Sam Howell and, of course, the veteran in Jacoby Brissett. They're going to compete for that starting job. Here's Ron Rivera on his quarterbacks. I do. I, I You know, again, it's one of those things that, guys, it's, it's – you know, just because I said he's going to start off as QB1 doesn't mean he's going to finish as QB1. Um, I like to believe, though, that if he goes out and does things he's capable of, he's got a very, very good chance of doing that. Um, I think Jacoby has shown us some things that have really gotten people's attention. We talk about Jacoby almost as much as we talk about Sam. So I just think as, as we go through this process and, you know, until we play games, it, it'd be unfair to start making assessments. Again, uh, there is a lot of confidence. I know Eric likes what he's seeing right now from both guys, and we'll just continue to work. Well, here's a look at the commander's offensive numbers. The enemy is first season as an OC in the NFL. Patrick Mahomes' first season as a starter, that was 2018. And yes, Mahomes an MVP that year. All right, so we know Eric Bieniemy. We know what he's able to accomplish with Patrick Mahomes under center. And of course, Andy Reid. Now he's got Sam Howell, Jacoby Brissett. What's the number one priority for Bieniemy this summer, M. Rob? Mm, number one priority. I mean, well, look, I mean, it, it's an issue, right? Because at the end of the day, and you, I think you kind of heard it in Ron Rivera, um, Sam Howell probably has the bigger upside, but uh, Jacoby Brissett is probably the better quarterback right now. And so for me, is the issue for this offense and team, quite frankly, is going to be how much patience do you have? So if Sam Howell wins the job, right, how much patience do you have if he has his first-year quarterback jitters? Jacoby Brissett, he's been in the league eight years, and you talk about him wowing you right now. I mean, what does Jacoby Brissett could possibly, you know, do in the Washington uh, Commanders um, practice field that he hadn't shown in the National Football League already. So I just think they have some real serious decisions to make. But one thing I can tell you about an Eric Bieniemy, he knows football. And when the pads come on and they can actually see what they're good at, whether it's running the football or playing quick offense or pushing the ball down the football field, he's going to make sure this team is ready and right. And whoever the quarterback will be, they'll have a sound offense. So if I'm a Washington Commanders fan, Yams, I'm not too worried. All right. Well, look, they got to also answer some questions on the defensive side, which is the focus now. Sherry Burris actually with defensive tackle, Deron. Pain. Well, Duran, congratulations first and foremost on signing that extension. Has it sunk in yet that you are one of the top paid players at your position in the NFL? Uh, it definitely. It's just, um, I think for me, is the way that I have to work. I have to work like I'm one of the top athletes in the NFL. So it just picked up an extra load for me, and um, I'm happy about it. So I get to go out there and do my thing. Would you say it's weight? I mean, is it more pressure knowing that they are investing so much in you? But on the flip side, what does that mean to you that they showed you so much love and attention that they still want you here with that contract? I mean, it's fun for me because I get to go out there and try to one-up myself every day. I get to go out there and try to uh, be, the, be the best player I, I can be every day. And um, I feel like it's like a competition for me to try to uh, outdo myself. And you said last season you had the most fun playing football, right? You were better in all of the stat categories last season, a Pro Bowl selection. What do you attribute that success to? 
Uh, just my training during the offseason, being able to uh, finish, work on finishing with like um, just all the extra little details and uh, the way that I work. There's a lot of focus right now on the offense with Eric Bianami coming in. Can you notice a difference when we see you guys out there like today? Uh, definitely. You can always see it, Coach. Um, just getting on the offense about how like their intensity and um, the way that they do things, and he always just be right there coaching. But I can definitely can I can feel him every, every time we practice. Him. All right, but we can't ignore obviously your side of the ball here. You guys are getting some guys back from injury. What excites you most from what you've seen today and just some of the offseason workouts? Um, I, I'm just excited to be out here with the guys, uh, be able to put this work in with with, with them, and um, I know. I think for the defense this year is to start fast. So we're just trying to find a way to um, start fast and just get out there and play ball the way we're supposed to early on in the season. Did you pick a sack number yet for the season? Uh, I did. I'm, I'm going to hold it to myself, though. Okay, we yeah. appreciate the time, John. Thank you. <laughs>